This is part seven of my uh, Python programming tutorials for new Blender users. And this is a short tutorial, but it's important. There's just a couple of features in here that I've done. And one feature in particular, hopefully you've found out about so far, but if not, I'm going to show you. So the only thing really different in this case is I'm just adding some cubes to the scene at particular locations. Let's see what I've done. I've uh, Let's see, oh yeah, I've done a resize command. I'm using bpy.ops.transform.resize in here, and the parameter is being uh, value is x size, y size, and z size, which I set here like this. And then down here, I'm incrementing the size each time at 0.1 as I'm leaving the loop, or, or as I'm getting to the end of the loop. And that way, for each instance of the cube that is added, it's a little bit bigger by a tenth of a Blender unit in all directions. So that's one thing. But So here's this operation, the resize. Well, you know how sometimes, maybe if I've put in something like a couple letters that don't work and I try and run the script and it says Python script fail, look in the console and you try and look down here, you go, no, what console? You can't find it, right? So you have to go up here to help and you have to grab the console toggle system console which I do and then it shows me that I have the error so that's one thing to know about but the other thing is as far as these commands are concerned you know how we could look down here we could use this as far as just your PPY and look at commands like this well actually there is a better way but it's not so obvious sometimes right up here on the help menu here you can help and you go down to the operator cheat sheet and the same thing operator cheat sheet. Well, does it do anything? What well, does? If you come down here now to your list, there's going to be a new list called operator list.txt and within here you get a list of your operators. Oh, you do. So now you know what to do with them. So that one command that we were, well, let's see if it's even in there. Let's see, multi-cubes it was ops.transform.resize ops See if transform, there it is, ops.transform.resize111. So, now let me see. Now you notice this is the last object selected as put in the scene. So the beauty of this is you can be interactive too. So I can come down into here and type bpy.ops.transform.resize. And then the value says value equals... And let's make it, we'll just make it huge, five, one and one, like that. Did I get that right? Resize, value, five, one and one. No, I probably didn't, because I need another parenthesis. Let's see what happens. It says finished. And if I look closely in there, let's move this thing out of the way, there it is actually resize that into a rectangular shape, like that. And then you could do it again. But the nice thing about this is instead of typing again, just press the up arrow. And there you have it like that. And I'll come over here and I'll just make that 15. And I'll press it. And there it is like there. So it allows you to work interactively back and forth through this, through that, through that. The whole nine yards. Okay, well that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.